In this video, I'm reviewing the Consumer Electronics Show award-winning Olive Smart Ear Hearable. Coming up. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Another award-winning piece of tech in the wearable category from the 2020 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Nevada, was from one of the newest hearable companies on the market called Olive Union. And according to the Consumer Electronic Blog Network in Gadget, the Olive Union Smart Ear is a hearing aid disguised as a true wireless earbud, which helps reduce the stigma that can come from wearing a typical behind-the-ear device. It is more affordable than a hearing aid, yet still offers premium features like music streaming, different listening modes, and hands-free calling. Unlike true earbuds though, it is sold in a single unit so you'd wear it in just one ear to amplify sound if you're someone who needs a little help hearing better. I will have a link to this product in the description of this video if you want to check it out for yourself, but for right now let's go ahead and get into the review of the Olive Union Smart Ear. So the Olive Smart Ear is what we call a hearable, and a hearable is basically any type of an earbud that can stream audio and can also amplify your surrounding sound and potentially even do some medical monitoring or some fitness monitoring. The Olive Smart Ear comes in white or black and it's intended to be worn in one ear only, and I'm not necessarily sure why they chose to go with only one ear, but I have a feeling it's due to the cost. As of the recording of this video, the Olive Smart Ear retails for around 300 bucks. Compare that to other hearable companies out there like New Hearing that has the IQ Bud Squared Max that retail anywhere between 350 bucks and 400 bucks, but that's for two devices, one that goes in each of your ears, and it also comes with a rechargeable case that you can charge on the go. With the Olive Union product, you have to actually have this plugged into something to give it power. Now we have to look at any hearable from two different lenses. First, as a wireless earbud, and second, as a hearing enhancement device or hearing aid. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how this thing performs as a wireless earbud, and in order to do that, we have to get into the Olive app. Olive did a really nice job with their app, providing step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up their device. This process starts by removing the device from the charger, which is actually kind of a pain because when you have this inside of the charging case like this, you can't grab it out from the top. There's a good way to grab it out of here. And so you actually have to lift up the charger and push it up from the bottom just to pop it out. Not a huge deal, but annoying enough to really get annoyed. Once you have it out, you need to remove the shipping sticker, plug the charger in with the USB cable, and charge the earbud. Once charging is complete, you need to select the best type and size of ear tip. Now these come with two different types of tips that you can put on the very end of your olive earbud. And one of them is a silicone tip, and the other one is a comply tip, which is kind of like a compressible foam that will then expand. It comes in the small, medium, and large sizes, so you need to try to find one that has the best fit inside of your ear. Now I personally prefer the silicone tips, but none of them are perfect. And what I mean by that is that none of them fit really well to create a good seal, and none of them are really comfortable which is pretty similar with any other hearable on the market that uses these same type of tips. While it does actually stay inside of your ear once you get it there, I think the biggest problem with the fit and comfort of this device is that it's designed to be universal, meaning you can wear it in your right ear or you can wear it in your left ear. But because it's universally designed, it's not specifically contoured for whichever ear you're going to be putting it in. And I kind of think of this like a shoe that's been designed to be worn on either foot. It's not really going to feel that comfortable even though you could do it. After getting your Olive device in your ear and pairing it in the Bluetooth section of your phone, you can continue with the setup process by finding a quiet place because it takes you through a calibration procedure, which is kind of like getting a hearing test where you listen for beeps between 500 hertz and 8000 hertz. Once you complete this calibration procedure, which takes only a few minutes, it gives you a brief explanation of the different programs, feedback cancellation, and volume adjustment on the home screen, and you also have another tab at the bottom of the app that lets you adjust an 8-band equalizer. After playing with the app and testing its capabilities for a few minutes, the app completely froze on me, and I got a weird static noise from the earbud at the same time. So I had to close the app, 
put the olive bud back in the charger, and turn it back on to get it to start working again. Aside from that little hiccup, let's go ahead and talk about the performance as an earbud. And I will say this, from a music streaming perspective, it's really not that good. First and foremost, you only have that music going into one ear, which alters your perspective of sound quality, and you don't really get a good seal, or it doesn't really have that good of bass. So you're not really getting any bass tones whatsoever, which significantly diminishes the quality of the music as well. I did try to go into the app to adjust the 8-band equalizer, but that had no impact on the streaming music. The only impact that that has is the surrounding sound amplification. Streaming phone calls seems to work fine, but it would be significantly better to stream that audio into both ears to get better speech understanding, and this is particularly true for individuals who have a hearing loss. Which brings me to my next point. How good is this thing as a hearing enhancement device? Now, I get pretty objective with testing products that claim to be a solution for individuals with hearing loss, and I try to do this in an unbiased of manner as humanly possible. That being said, I was extremely underwhelmed by the performance of the Olive Union Smart Ear. First and foremost, most cases of hearing loss are bilateral, meaning you have a hearing loss in both ears. And when you have a hearing loss in both ears, you need to be treating the hearing loss in both ears if you want to maximize your performance. If you do have a hearing loss in only one ear, you shouldn't jump to try to treat it on your own, because that could be a sign of a serious medical condition like an acoustic neuroma, and you should be getting in to see your audiologist as soon as possible. In order to test this product, I decided to use real ear measurement, which is an objective measurement that I can use to see the output of this device in relation to a NAL NL2 hearing loss prescription for a common high frequency sensor neural hearing loss in my right ear, which you can see indicated on this audiogram. When measuring the amount of amplification, I first wanted to test each one of the preset programs in the app, starting with the default setting at a volume of 60%. What I'm looking for is where the amplification is being applied, which is indicated by the solid purple line, and how close this solid purple line is to the prescriptive target for a mild high frequency hearing loss, which is indicated by the hash mark line. Note for each of the tests I run on the OWL device that all of the hash mark prescriptive target lines will be the same. We can see that this device primarily amplifies in the mid-frequency ranges around 1,750 Hz. When switching to the background noise reducing conversation mode, which is indicated by the solid red line, we can say that it slightly removes some amplification throughout the frequency range. Typically, we would expect to see low frequencies be reduced for a noise reduction program, which we do not see here. The TV mode, which is indicated by the solid green line, provides an overall boost to all sound. When evaluating to see how well suited these three different settings are for someone with a high frequency hearing loss, we can see that we do not meet the prescription of sound in the high frequencies for this type of loss. However, this is what the equalizer is for. So I spent some time trying to see if I could adjust the equalizer to have the amplification of the olive earbud match the hash mark prescriptive target line while in the default mode, but using a solid pink line for comparison. This is as close as I could get the amplification to the prescription for a high frequency sensor and neural hearing loss. Not horrible, but not great either. For comparison's sake, I also took a measurement of a custom programmable hearing aid to show the difference of how well a high quality hearing aid can be programmed to treat the same type of hearing loss. This is now indicated by the solid green line. As you can see, we can do a much better job of matching a prescriptive target, which results in a significantly higher rate of satisfaction. If you want to learn more about real ear measurement and how it works, make sure that you watch my video that I will have linked in the description. Speaking of performance and satisfaction, we have to keep going back to one ear versus two ears. Wearing a device in two ears can significantly improve how well you hear in nearly every single listening situation. In fact, in one of the videos on Olive Union's website, it actually shows someone using an Olive Smart earbud in each ear. However, they do not pair or function together, and you can only be connected to your phone with one device at a time. On top of that, the person in the video, when having difficulty understanding the server, taps on the feedback cancellation button and increases the volume by double tapping the device to reduce background noise, which is not what feedback cancellation or increasing the volume would do, which makes this type of a marketing video confusing at best. Feedback cancellation is intended to reduce the amount of whistling that you get if sound is leaking outside of your ear canal and recycling back through the microphone of the device. And that being said, the feedback canceller of this device really isn't that good either. 
If you're getting a lot of whistling and the feedback canceler isn't working for you either, you're gonna have to get a different tip on the end of this to try to seal off your ear canal a little bit better, or you're just gonna have to lower down the volume. When we're talking about performance in a background noise situation, one of the biggest factors is, are you getting enough high frequency to separate speech from background noise that tends to weight itself in the low frequencies? And from what we can see, this guy doesn't really do a good job of getting you those high frequencies either, which means you're probably gonna still struggle in a background noise situation. At the end of the day, Olive Union's mission of providing a low-cost option for individuals with hearing impairment is a noble one, but there are already graveyards filled with these companies that thought they could provide a simple amplifier product combined with Bluetooth to solve the hearing loss epidemic that is currently plaguing the world. In my opinion, unless Olive Union plans to make a device for the opposite ear and they plan to improve the fit and performance dramatically, I do not see this earbud lasting very long. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.